The band Pale Off Press to Rotation is a killer rotational and anti-rotational core exercise that everybody should be doing. This exercise works the entire core from the rectus abdominis to the transverse abdominis but has a heavy emphasis on the internal and external obliques. Not only is this exercise working the core, but we're also working the lower body as well. So we're building lower body strength and stability with that rotation. And we're also getting a little bit of upper body work in as well with that payoff press, making this a killer compound functional core exercise that everybody should absolutely be doing. Full exercise breakdown, let's go. Okay, first things first, you wanna use a light to medium resistance band with this exercise. The thicker the resistance band, the harder it's going to be. Next, you wanna anchor the band to something very sturdy and stable right about chest level. So if you have a regular resistance band, just like this one, we're gonna take the band, we're gonna wrap it around, we're gonna pull one end through like so, pull it tight, and now you're ready to go. Let's talk about hand placement. So we wanna grab the band with the hand that's closest to the anchor point. We're gonna have the band cutting across the meaty part of the hand. We're gonna make a nice tight fist. We're then gonna take the opposite hand and put it right over top of the other hand. Next, we need to get tension on the band. So we need to walk off of that anchor point. The further we walk out from that anchor point, the more tension we have on that band and the harder the exercise is going to be. So find a level of tension that allows you to maintain good technique, but also really challenges the core. Next, let's talk about lower body positioning. So I want you in a squat stance. So feet a little more than shoulder width. I want your toes pointed straight ahead, slight bend of the knees. I want you to really externally rotate those hips. So drive those knees out to turn on and engage the glutes. Next, let's talk about the payoff press, which is the first part of this exercise. So lower body's locked in place. We have strong tension on the band. Just holding this position, you're gonna feel demand on the hips and the core as this tension wants to pull us inward towards that anchor point. So we have to fight that rotation by really locking in the hips and the core. Now the payoff press, we're gonna press straight out. As we press straight out, the demand on the hips and the core to maintain alignment and to fight the rotation is gonna get stronger and stronger. So you wanna press straight out, not letting the arms go inward at all by locking the core in. Press straight out to full extension. So this is where we're gonna finish that first part of the exercise. You're gonna feel a very strong demand on the hips and the core. We're gonna be building a ton of anti-rotational strength with the first part of this exercise. Okay, so we've pressed out into that payoff press. Now what we wanna do is initiate the rotation with the lower body. So we're gonna pivot on the foot that's closest to that anchor point. Pivot and drive off that foot to initiate that rotation. I want your arms to remain totally straight throughout as we just want to use the hips and the core to pull through that resistance and through that tension. So we pivot, turn the lower body, keeping the arms straight, come back to that starting position, and then repeat. So press out, rotate with control, really initiating with that lower body. Now let's talk about reps and sets. So I want you to aim for anywhere from three to four sets of 10 to 15 reps. Now, whatever rep range you choose, so let's say you choose 10 reps, 12 reps, or 15. When you get to that last rep, you should only have maybe one to two reps left in the tank to really see the best results possible with this exercise. So for example, if you're going for 10 reps and at that 10th rep, let's say you have maybe five more reps in the tank and you stop, you're not gonna see as great of results as if you were to have maybe one, maybe two reps left in the tank once you get to that 10th rep. Certainly always focus on proper technique with this exercise, get as much tension on the band as you can while maintaining excellent technique. If you guys have any questions about this exercise, let me know in the comments. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one, and I'll see you guys in the next one.